So starting off with body covering. So if we look at the body covering of a bony fish, it is covered in scales, right? Now these scales themselves are covered by a thin glandular skin. The skin was able to produce a mucus, which allows the animal to be more hydrodynamic within the water. Hydro meaning water, dynamic meaning power, so it's faster in the water and more streamlined. The mucus can also prevent infections and the scales grow larger as the fish ages. Right, next up is locomotion. All right, so the fish has multiple fins, pairs of fins, one on either side of the fish. We looked at these when we did chondrithes, so take a pause in the video for a second and can you remember the five different pairs of fins that the fish has? So the first fin that we're going to look at and revise is the dorsal fin. So the dorsal fin is the fin that is on the top side of the fish and its main functions is to provide the fish with stability while swimming as well as allowing the fish to easily change directions. The Titan Triggerfish. They've got a fearsome reputation. Aggressively defending their patch of reef. Very few animals can eat a lionfish, especially when it's fully grown. A sting from one of these spines is extremely painful. All right, so next up is the caudal fin, with the, which is the posterior fin of the fish, the back fin. This is mainly used for propulsion, so moving the fish forward in the water column. The following two fins, um, there are four of them, so two, one on each side, the pectoral and the pelvic fins, which are usually for precise swimming and direction changes. This sort of parental care may be surprising, but it's vitally important they protect the next generation of reef helpers. All right, so the pectoral and pelvic fins can also be changed or modified, um, but now for walking on the seabed, like we can see these mud skippers do, and some other lobed finned kind of fishes. All right, and then the last fin is the anal fin, and its main function is for stability whilst swimming. So bony fish use a, what we call a swim bladder to control their buoyancy in the water column. So this is also part of locomotion or movement because this allows the animal to either move up in the water column by adding gases to the swim bladder, and if the fish wants to move down in the water column, it can just remove those gases from the swim blood bladder. And this helps the fish to either be positive, neutrally, or negatively buoyant. 